Well, it's a crisp, cool December afternoon here at Chicago Airport, and today I'm going to be flying on my favorite European airline again, KLM. We're heading to Amsterdam via Chicago Direct. I booked this last week. Now, if I paid cash, it would have been $7,300, but I only paid $230 plus 44,000 miles. I took advantage of a couple of promotions for this one. If you stay tuned until later in this video, I'm going to show you how I booked the flight. I'm going to take you along for the experience. We'll see what it's like. The night before leaving, we had the chance to check out the night lights at the Tower Hill Botanical Garden in Boylston, Massachusetts. This always sells out, so we were really lucky to get tickets. It's calling both of our names. The lights are bright on a Christmas tree when I've got you. My name is Jeff, the channel is HD Jeff, and this is the first episode of my 2021 Christmas Spectacular. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Normally we'd be able to use the Air France KLM lounge, but it looks like it's closed. Now I have two options. I think there's a partner lounge we can use, or we can go with the Priority Pass lounge. Well, actually, I guess they're two in the same because the Priority Pass lounge and the partner lounge is the Swissport lounge. There was a great selection of food and prepackaged snacks, but I didn't spend too much time here because it was a small indoor space. All right, all done at the lounge, had a, a nice little snack, now off to the gate. Well, I, I've been paged to uh, do a document check now. I had the chance to see our plane land, and today we're going to be flying on one of KLM's Boeing 787-10 airplanes, the largest version of the 787 Dreamliner. When you're flying business class with KLM, you can board in Group 1 with the Sky Priority boarding lane. Today I'll be in seat 3A, which means that when I step on board here in a minute, I'll get to turn left. The cool thing about this configuration is unlike my last KLM review, this business class is in a 1 2 1 configuration with newer reverse herringbone style seating. Now one of the first things I noticed when I got to my seat is that apparently KLM doesn't clean the pillows, which is absolutely disgusting. Completely covered in dirt as if someone had stomped on it, and I'm sure you can see the human hair that was left behind from a previous passenger. Gross. Fortunately, the friendly flight attendant replaced my pillow and I went ahead and cleaned the seat for them. I was offered a pre-departure drink and chose water to stay hydrated on this flight. Later on, we'll check out the amenity kit, but first, let's take a look at the menu for today's dinner service. Feel free to pause it if you'd like to have a closer look. All right, well, welcome on board the KLM 787-10. Looking forward to a really great flight. As I had a look around the seat, I noticed that there was plenty of storage and a water bottle here, as well as some power outlets and headphone jack and USB plugs. <laughs> We soon push back and we're on our way. While we are in the middle of this authentic royal dove pottery, we would like to explain the safety information on board your KLM flight. Unfortunately, there is no air vents on today's flight, which is disappointing because typically the European airlines tend to keep their cabins quite a bit warmer than what I would prefer. Pick up the tree, put on the jam. Yeah, man, go ahead, let it up. Pick up the tree, put on the jam. Yeah, man, go ahead, let it up. Like four two glasses of hot cocoa. Glass at full top with marshmallow. I just wanna sleep my pillow soft like this. Now unfortunately this is going to be a 100 percent night flight, so I'm not gonna have the best views out the window, but nonetheless I'll still enjoy a window seat. Shortly after departure, I was served a beverage and a bag of nuts. I don't know who Santa is, but I know grandma is looking good while in the kitchen. Man, her food is finger licking good. I checked out the entertainment system, which is great, and they even had some really cool AvGeek entertainment as well. I was really impressed by the updated amenity kit, which include all the important essentials, such as an eye mask, a pair of socks, toothbrush, toothpaste, and hand cream, earplugs, everything that you need for an overnight flight. 
And now, without further ado, it's time for the Lou review. This Lou had all the amenities that you would need, such as body mist, hand lotion, and plenty of soap. There was a child tray provided if you have to change any diapers in the air. They also had one of these close-up mirrors if you want to get an extra good look at yourself. And both the flush and the faucet are touchless, so less germs. KLM uniquely offers an hour of free messaging through their Wi-Fi service, and full internet would be 18 euros, however I didn't have any luck getting it to work. For the starter I chose the mushroom soup. One of the cool features about KLM is these wooden shoe salt and pepper shakers. Main course, I went with the chicken and a Thai curry sauce, and I really love this. The whole meal was fantastic. All right, meal service is over. That was really good. Uh, I really enjoyed the mushroom soup, and the chicken had a really nice curry flavor. Baby bok choy is one of my favorite vegetables, so I was stoked to see that. I'm sure some of you will be disappointed I skipped the dessert, but if you'd like to see what it looks like, check out my last KLM video because it's pretty much the same dessert. But the food was amazing. So glad that the service is back to normal. Now the food was covered like before. Uh, all served on the beautiful KLM uh, dishware, which I really enjoy. So I think it's um, time to get some sleep. This is an early flight, so for Red Eye, this left Chicago at, I want to say, like 5 o'clock. So it's kind of tough to uh, get some sleep on a flight that leaves that early on an overnight flight. But I'll do my best, so we'll see. But a quick tip for you is I actually booked my hotel room for tonight, too. So I know that when I get there in the morning, I'll have no problem checking early. So a uh, nice tip if you take one of these uh, early Red Eye flights to, to Europe, it's definitely helpful to have early check-in because you're going to be exhausted in the morning. So uh, time to get some sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. As many of you may know, KLM offers every business class passenger a unique gift of a Delft house that is filled with Bulls Geneva. KLM is the world's oldest airline, and there are currently 101 houses for each year that KLM has been in operation. All right, quick little recap here as we're about to start our descent. I had to skip the breakfast because I realized that we were basically landing at like 1 a.m. East Coast time, which is basically my bedtime. So I tried to get some sleep, gave up on that. Uh, I will check in and get plenty of sleep in Amsterdam. Uh, the flight was amazing. The food that I had was really great. I really especially love the mushroom soup. That was probably my favorite part of the, the whole meal. Um, also got a nice new house. So before I left, Amanda made a little list of uh, a wish list of the houses that she wanted. And luckily one of them was on her list. So I will do a little uh, recap when we get back to the hotel probably a little, a little bit later on and we'll see how the rest of the flight goes. The remaining flight time is approximately uh, 40 minutes. We expect to start our descent in about 10 minutes across the North Sea towards Amsterdam. Local weather at the moment, a temperature of 6 degrees, some light clouds and a light to medium wind from the south. We hope you had a pleasant flight with us, of course for the last part, a pleasant flight. If you have to continue your journey, then have a safe onwards journey, otherwise enjoy your stay in the Netherlands. And of course, uh, on behalf of the entire crew, thank you very much for flying with Caleb. Now I'm going to show you how I booked this $7,300 flight for only $230. I took advantage of two promotions at the same time. American Express was offering a 25% bonus on all point transfers to KLM, while simultaneously KLM was offering 25% off any mileage bookings from Chicago. So that means for this flight redemption, I got a value of 16.5 cents per point, which is really incredible because if you read the points guy, they value American Express points at just 2 cents per point. I made it to Amsterdam. I am in my hotel room, gonna get plenty of rest now. Um, pros and cons, what I really liked about the flight was the service was amazing. The food was really good, really loved the soup and the main course was awesome. I did not like the dirty pillow. That was absolutely disgusting, but fortunately they took care of it. 
and we'll just blame that one on the Chicago cleaning crew. So gross, but <laughs> we'll move on. So is KLM still my favorite European airline? Yes, yes, absolutely it is. Yo, my name's Jeff. I believe that travel helps us build a more peaceful planet, and I hope to see you on my next journey. Peace out. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. It really helps me out. And be sure to subscribe because in the next episode, I'll be traveling from Amsterdam to Frankfurt first class by train, followed by an amazing flight on board a Lufthansa 747 after that.